Hello everyone and welcome back. I know that I had made that post saying that I was no longer going to be reviewing music. I would like to stick to that. Um, I am a lot of things, but the last thing I would say that I would want to be is a hypocrite. And I know that if you're passionate about something like I am about metal, you're eventually going to open yourself up for it. People make excuses for all kinds of things, but um, I did want to honor that the, the last post that I had made. Um, however, people have been asking me to review a new release. And uh, I have been blessed by having an audience, small as it may be. Uh, you guys have invited me into your homes for a, a long time now, and I do appreciate that. Uh, and I want to provide you with my perspective since it's being asked. So uh, I decided to come out of the woodwork and give you this new review. Fast food icon Burger King has recently released the Wednesday Whopper which as you can see here, has this gorgeous purple bun. And, you know, I, every day we get a little further away from what I believe makes a burger great. But I wouldn't be able to say that unless I knew what it was to begin with, and I'd like to trace it back to when I was a kid. Uh, if I were to stay up late enough to watch the hamburgers ball, it was a real treat for me. And if I could manage to not fall asleep even after that, I would be treated to enter the barbecue pit, which had nothing but the heaviest sandwiches out there. And that brings us to 2024. What are people saying about this new one? Well, the meat meltdown has given it five out of five and said that it's a perfect cheeseburger. And I wanted to know why. Why are people saying stuff like that? If you were to look on the internet right now, everybody is raving about this sandwich. Uh, and our, I just want to know if they're raving about it because it complements the idea of what the sandwich should be or if they ever really liked cheeseburgers to begin with. I don't want to theorize about that too much, but it seems like a lot of reviewers right now, when they're reviewing a certain product, whether it's a cheeseburger or anything else, they tend to review what elements to it normally don't make up the composition and give it a favorable review based on that. And this, I think, is another symptom of that. Uh, it just makes me wonder if the people ever really had the same passion for it that I did as a kid. Uh, as for this one, as I mentioned before, the, the composition is a little jarring. As you can see here, it has sauerkraut on it. Uh, I'm not sure why, but if you were to think about what the sauerkraut is providing, I, I would say it's kind of a more of a solemn and rhythmic backdrop to what's normally a favorite explosion of beef. Uh, some people like that clash. Uh, I prefer to not have ambient moods in my sandwich. But, you know, everybody needs to be getting a different experience out of, out of a product nowadays. And uh, another thing that you're seeing here is, for some reason, they've put a rice patty on there. Uh, and if you've ever tried to get through a rice patty, you'll, you'll agree that the composition is the same through and through. It's flavorless, and it, it just is a, a very laborious chore to try to consume. Uh, some people say you might simply not understand rice patties. You probably just don't get it. And it's about setting a mood. But for this listener uh, or consumer, I just, I just can't get into it. I, I would love to be able to say that I could sit down and enjoy one single note flavor for an entire meal and have that flavor have absolutely no character to it. But that's not for me. However, going up against the uh, the flavor explosion of the beef, maybe it does provide something that would be a nice little contrast. I don't know. However, then I get into that idea of what is it that I'm reviewing here? Am I reviewing a cheeseburger with complimentary flavors, or am I favorably reviewing the distractions from the cheeseburger, which would hint at the fact that I never really liked cheeseburgers to begin with. I don't know. I don't want to theorize about that. It, like I said, it's a uh, uh, we're here for the meat and potatoes of a review. And for this one, I gotta say it is perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and agree that it is a five out of five because Burger King has never let me down, ever. And uh, this, this is no exception. I mean, the bun is purple. What more do you want? 